Hi, I'm Dan from UK Money Man, and one of the questions that we get asked a lot is, can you be refused equity release? So, equity release can be a lot more flexible than uh, regular mortgages, and when we're talking in this context, I'm meaning a lifetime mortgage. Home reversion is another sort of equity release, not generally available at the moment, so we're just concentrating on lifetime mortgages at the moment. So. Reasons why people get refused a, a normal mortgage are through bad credit, uh, through the property type, through not enough income, um, various things, and, and you know some things you may have come across in your own life and applying for mortgages. So with a lifetime mortgage, the mortgage itself is not income assessed. We will go through your income and outgoings and uh, work with you to define your affordability for it but it isn't the way that the mortgage itself is assessed by the lender. So you're unlikely to get refused because of your income. In terms of adverse credit, um, you know, there aren't any lenders who are going to lend to you if you're bankrupt. Um, if you're in an IVA, they might insist that it's paid off out of the proceeds, um, and some lenders wouldn't lend to you. But there is quite a, quite a lot of flexibility for clients who have uh, adverse credit. The big thing with lifetime mortgage lenders is the property. Um, so a lot of the lenders don't like non-standard construction, although some are more flexible than others. So, um, you know, certain types of concrete construction, prefab construction, there are lenders who will do it. Certain types of timber frame, lenders don't like. Um, it, is, it is very specific to the lenders and their lending profile. Um, things that are common across all lenders is that if there are signs of, uh, of, of damp or rot in, in timber, they're likely to want a, um, an additional report by a professional, and none of them like clutter. Um, so whereas they're not looking for a house that is presented like it's going into home and gardens, um, if there is a lot of hoarded goods in the property, um, we quite often see that come back as a zero valuation. Um, so something that's worth having a think about before you, before you apply. If you're uncertain about anything that I've said in this video, there's a link in the description below. Um, you can either send me an email or you can book in for a, for a chat. Um, let me know what you're worried about. We'll talk it through and then you can make a decision from there.